Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second series of classes. Here we will be learning the basics of painting. So let's start this class. So these are the acrylic colors which are most commonly available in the market and they are these are affordable as well. So we get them mostly in two brands that is Camden Fabrica and Fabric Acrylic Colors. They are also known as fabric colors, acrylic colors between us. So these are good. These have very thin consistency. I'm going to show you how they all are. So I hope you can see these are not thick like tubes so these are of very thin consistency and uh, if we apply larger surfaces with coats then we will require at least one to two coats so now i'm going to show you the second part. this is the second part here we are having the colors which are available in tubes so um, i usually use the colors in tube that are of Campbell brand they are highly pigmented and have larger surface covering capacity uh, they are opaque so we don't need to mix white with them and uh, I just love these colors so these come in tubes they also come in large tubes uh, which are like this we get them in 9 ml tube 20 ml tube 40 ml tube and this 120 ml tube I also like to use the colors from Brustro brand so all these colors are thick and are of very good pigmentation let me show you the white color you can see that this is very pigmented and thick so it has larger covering capacity so for the people who like to use the liquid colors which come in bottles large colors like this are also available you can see so I have just ordered these because I like to use them so I have ordered them you can order them online or these are even available in retail shops these two are the additives in acrylic paint which means we add them in acrylics to adjust their consistency and the drying time as we all know acrylic is a fast drying medium so we use acrylic retarder we mix them with paint in order to increase its drying time and help us in color mixing and blending our colors as acrylics dry very fast this is the gel medium this changes the consistency of the paint without compromising with the transparency the next thing is acrylic gesso this is texture white from Camlin. you can also order gesso but I was not having gesso as I run out of it so I am using this texture white for prepping my canvas which means before starting painting we just apply a layer of gesso or texture white on our canvas in order to just fill the pores which help us in easy coverage of our canvas with paint. The next thing is canvases. Canvases are a very versatile medium. So these are the surfaces on which we paint. So they are available in different sizes, different types. Some of them are, they are available in linen, cotton, pure cotton, medium grain, fine grain, low grain. All these things matter a lot in painting. First and the most common thing to paint with available in the market is canvas board these boards are made up of MDF boards with the canvas cloth upon them I like to use high grain canvases medium grain on high grain so uh, they are available in different sizes and these are these can handle very thick impasto techniques without cracking so I love these things of them they are very cheaply available the second thing is a stretched canvas it has wooden bars upon it this is a very huge size so it's not fitting in the camera it's a very huge size 50 by 15 centimeter so this is a professional grade canvas it's a stretch canvas and uh, it is like a flimsy one yeah so it has a stretcher bar on it you can see it is a stretcher bar which provides its strength so this is also very this is also very great for painting uh, 
we can even use mdf boards like this i have primed this one mdf boards like this or we can even use cardboard i have primed this one as well but i hate to work with them as their texture is very bad we can even paint on bridge wood by just applying a layer of sealer on it which makes the surface smooth for painting so the next thing i am going to talk about is brushes i am having a variety of brushes with me and i am going to tell you each of one's use you don't need to buy this many brushes you can simply buy you need to have set of each one of them as all of them have different textures and provide us with different feelings so these are a few flat brushes which you can use we can have one large one medium and one small these are fine liner brush or rigor brushes these are round brushes these are filbert brushes these are fan brushes these are angular brushes this is dagger brush you don't need to have this many brushes you can simply have one number 1 number 4 and number 10 and number 12 of each one of them but in round brush and flat brush you should have the number 1 and 0 specifically in order to give some detailing to your paintings these are very common brushes and these are very necessary brushes as well this is a flat brush and this is a round brush so these both will also do if you don't want to have so many brushes you can just buy a few numbers of brushes in these two categories now if you have to use palette you can use palettes like this my palette is very messy because acrylics once dry are very hard to remove or if you don't want to use that you can simply use a normal plate so from wiping our paint from our brushes we can either use a tissue paper or a rough cloth like this while painting while painting you should have two glasses or bowls with you so once you are done painting what you can do is you can wipe your wash your brush over here and once the use of one brush is over and if you need it again just give it a quick rinse in one glass and keep the other glass or jar clean so that if you have to use the brush again you can just give it a quick rinse and use it again in this manner you don't have to change your water again and again and you will have a great painting experience one thing we should remember while painting is that we should never leave the color dried on our brush as it once it dries it destroys the brush completely but if you forgot to do this then what you can do is that you can just keep your brush dipped in the water for overnight don't leave your brush dipped inside it more than a few hours otherwise the fural will break so this was our class number 1 for painting in our next class we will be learning about the basic color theory and the mixing of the colors and we will also be learning saturation tint hue etc so see you in the next class bye do hit like and subscribe to my channel bye bye